Hi, my name is Callie. I'm a rising senior at the Dalton School, and this is my typing robot. One. So now for a demo, um, I'll just show what it does. So that was a pretty wide range of motion, um, and that's what I'm going to use to move around, um, get this finger above the key, and then once it's there, it'll press it. So it has a base, a shoulder servo, an upper arm, an elbow, a forearm, and a finger, which will actually press the key. Um, first, to create this, um, I catted the uh, arms. So I did those in a 3D modeling software called Onshape, which was my first time ever 3D modeling. So I was learning as I went, which made the process take longer than expected and was a little bit frustrating. But now I kind of know how to 3D model, and I'm really excited about that because that's a huge advantage to me working on future engineering projects. Um, after I catted these, I put everything together, um, and I wired things up. And um, when I wired these servos up, I needed to make sure that I was using their power to my advantage. So these particular servos only have 180 degrees of rotation. Um, and I needed to make sure that that was set up in a way that that could be the most expansive for me. Um, and I'll demonstrate that in the demo. Um, so servos work with a potentiometer and a DC motor. And the potentiometer actually provides feedback to the motor, so the potentiometer knows where the servo is. Um, and so if the servo is not at the place I want it to be at, the potentiometer will tell it to go there. Um, and after I built the bait, after I built the arm, um, attached the servos, the whole thing was flopping over because this is actually kind of heavy and heavier than I expected. So it was toppling over, it wasn't stable, so I had to build a base that was going to uh, stabilize the whole thing. Most importantly are these supports um, that keep this shoulder servo upright because it was falling because of the weight. Um, additionally, I built these, I put these large blocks under to add some counterbalance weight and some height to the arm to make sure this was never going to touch the ground. Furthermore, I'm clamping this down to the table so that way that adds basically indestructible stability. Um, my challenges were dealing with the base because there's a lot of wood here and the wood glue didn't want to stick the first time so it was kind of tedious um, and the catting which was my first time so it was kind of difficult. Um, and my next steps, I'm going to actually program the thing. Currently it can do a little bit of movement, but I want to have the precise movement that I need to actually type on a keyboard.